The introduction of the Trophy Act of Protection System actually afforded the Army the opportunity to deal with advanced threats to ground platforms with a very mature system. And the Army made, we think, a very wise decision in adopting Trophy for the Abrams tanks. And more importantly, the Trophy for Abrams acts as sort of a foundation for the Army to build on advanced protection capabilities going forward. Uh, it teaches a lot of lessons on dealing with advanced threats, and we can build on those lessons uh, into what the Army is, is starting, to, uh, starting to build on in, term, in, a, in a program called Vehicle Protection Systems, which builds on baseline active protection. Trophy is a hard kill system, and now they're building to deal with more expansive, more lethal threats across the spectrum with a holistic vehicle protection system approach. The biggest lessons we're finding is vehicles come with space constraints and power constraints, and yet the threats keep getting more and more lethal. So over time, we realize that we have to make smaller, lighter, cheaper, more effective capabilities, and vehicle protection is no different. So some of the, some of the development work we're, we're undertaking right now in conjunction with our Raphael partners and our ELTA partner on the detection side is smaller, lighter, better, uh, both sensors, detectors, as well as effectors, kill mechanisms for uh, you know, the threats that we're facing now. And we're seeing that now in our Trophy VPS uh, variant of the Trophy. It's 40% lighter and yet equally effective. Doesn't, doesn't sacrifice anything in terms of performance. So uh, that's really what we think the customer wants to see because as we said, not everything's the size of a tank. We have to get smaller and lighter you know, for vehicles such as the Striker behind me, needs lighter systems, and yet the threats don't change. So the more we're able to address those needs, uh, the more successful we're going to be.